this 6-3 build is the most fun, most dominant build that I've made so far on NBA 2K24. Look at the disrespect. Full court and one. I'm telling you, this build is different. This build is different. This is the ultimate small guard build. I'm pulling beyond half court. Red can test. Patty Mills, y'all. This Patty Mills jump shot is insane on this build. This build gets Patty. Look, I'm waiting for him to come contest me. Right over the center. That's their center. Red can test game. But look, y'all, you know what time it is, man. The verse of the video. This comes from the book of Matthew, chapter 7, starting with verse 7, y'all. And it's talking about ask and it will be given. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives and the one who seeks finds. And to the one who knocks it will be opened. So I'm telling you guys, man, whatever you got going on in life, man, just ask God for help. Ask God and he'll give you whatever you need. If you need forgiveness in your heart, if you need financial stuff, if you need um, just a better mental clarity, stuff like that. Whatever you ask, y'all, God and the Lord Jesus Christ will give it to you freely. All you got to do is ask him. All you got to do is knock and he'll open the door, man. So that's the verse of the video. The most important thing, man, more important than 2K, more important than this build. But you guys see, look, this build is going crazy. I'm getting glitchy. I will be showing you guys how to do that glitch move later on in the video. Because um, a lot of people have been asking me, how do I do this glitch move right here? I thought about titling this video, My Glitch 6-3, because this build, it really is a glitch as I do that for a contested game winner. Okay, when you have to worry about me shooting contested, I have Patty Mills. When you have to worry about me shooting full court shots, shooting wreck and test, doing dribble glitches up the court, and I'm punching on you like that. I'm telling y'all, and I'm throwing Doskies. It doesn't matter if he miss, I'm going to get the put back. This build is insane, man. This 6-3 is insane. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. This is probably the most fun build that I've made so far in NBA 2K24, y'all. It, it fits my play style, the way that I like to play, what I like to do. It just it fits me perfectly. Like A lot of people, they don't like to play like this. They don't like to glitch and shoot full court shots. But to me, that's how I have fun, y'all, especially if I'm in the park. I got a lot of clips in the park with this build. I just took it to the park. Um, it's a fresh rebirth, so I'm like a 90 overall. And I didn't feel like going into the wreck, so we took it to the park. I got park clips. I got a couple wreck clips towards the end. I got some 3v3 Pro-Am clips in here as well, y'all. And especially in the threes, this is really where this build shines. This build goes absolutely crazy and in the threes court, um, the 1v1 court. But also, you can definitely use this build in fives so because I hit him with a drop step into the dunk. I'm six foot three doing that. I'm six foot three going up with the drop step. Watch this dot too. Well, why, why would he leave him with take like that, y'all? I made sure to throw some dots in here because a lot of people say that I can't pass, that I don't pass, that I'm a ball hog, so to say, y'all. So that's basically what I did with this build. I said, you know what? Let me actually make a build because that's my play style. I'm a score first player. A lot of people hop on 2K and they want to post score. They want to pass the ball. They want to play simulation ball, play IRL basketball. And that's how they have fun and enjoy 2K. And if that's you, then that, that's you, bro. Like, I'm not here to knock anybody's play style. You enjoy the game, whoever you enjoy the game, right? But for me personally... For me personally, the way that I have fun on 2K is I like to shoot crazy shots. I like, oh, this right here, look. To do that dribble glitch, you spam that right there. So all it is, if you want to do that dribble glitch, y'all, you just spam down on the D-pad. So if you hit down on the D-pad, that's your, like, um, dribble taunt animation. So I believe it works for any animation, whether you have on the one that I have. It's called turn away or whatever animation you have. If you spam down on the D-pad and you move your left stick, it'll do that that little dribble glitch. So a lot of people ask me how I do that. How do I be dribble glitching, y'all? That's how. The dribble glitch, y'all. That's how I do it. But um, what I was saying about this build is it really fits my play style perfectly. The way that I like to play. I have fun dribbling, shooting half-court shots, doing dribble glitches, getting ankle breakers, 
shooting red contests, getting contact dunk animations. That's how I have fun on 2K. I don't care about in real life, what are we supposed to do? Or in real life, the point guard does this. In real life, post school, I don't care about none of that. On 2K in the video game, I have fun by shooting over the center red contest game. That's how I have fun. And so this build, it perfectly fits my play style because I get the Patty Mills jump shot, which is absolutely broken. I just posted my last video um, the other day about the power of Patty Mills jump shot. And especially on my 99 three ball build, Patty Mills is insane. But even on this build with a 92 three ball, I'm telling you, Patty plus 92 is, I mean, you're still hitting crazy shots. You've seen I'm shooting full courts. I'm literally shooting beyond half court and one. Okay, so I, I made sure to put plenty of contested shots in here, y'all. Even with a 92, y'all, the Patty Mills jump shot is insane. It's still broken. It's still the most broken jump shot, in my opinion, ever in any 2K. Patty Mills is the most broken jump shot I've ever used ever in any 2K, you guys. So if you can get Patty, make sure that you put Patty Mills on. Make sure that you try this jump shot out, y'all. And I, I did a whole video if you guys need tips on how to get down with the Patty Mills. But look, I got a couple red clips in here for y'all. Cooking up behind the screen, half court. I'm telling you, especially if you're in take, if you're lit up in take, you can still shoot from half court. You can still shoot from the circle inside the circle, crazy deep. You can still hit crazy shots, especially when you're in take. Now watch this. This is the power of Patty Mills. First play of the game. No takeover. That guy's a 25 pass. That's no dimer. That's nothing. I'm sure they contested off rip. Off rip, man. A lot of people, they don't have confidence, okay? A lot of people, they're, they're scared to shoot on 2K. Shot like that, first shot of the game, shooting contested, shooting over somebody. People are scared to do that even in take, y'all. I'm telling you, if there's one thing that I learned on NBA 2K24, especially after I got this Patty Mills jump shot, if there's one thing I learned, shoot the ball, you guys. Shoot the ball. Don't be playing scary. Don't be scared to shoot. Don't play scared, y'all. It's just 2K. It's just a video game, man. And if you want to have fun like me, I have fun shooting crazy shots, so maybe that's too much for some people the way y'all like to play. Y'all rather play safe, play conservative, and that's your play style, that's fine. But I'm telling y'all, if you guys want to load up 2K and have fun, start shooting some crazy shots, man. Start doing some, some crazy dribbles, learn a couple combos, and start shooting some crazy shots, man, because this shit is fun. Like, as I throw another Doski, he ends up dotting me back for the pass back green. I'm telling you, this Patty Mills, look, Clutch time, a minute left. It's a little bit contest, a light contest. But I'm telling you, with this Patty Mills, literally the contest doesn't matter. Even on a 6-3. Even on a 6-3, I'm telling you guys, the contest, it doesn't matter. It doesn't register. And when I tell you, this is the most fun build, man. This is really like the ultimate small guard. This is the ultimate small guard, you guys, because it's just so much fun. It fits my play style perfectly. Look, I'm in the 3v3 Pro-Am. I mean, it's too easy. If you run threes with this build, y'all, it's too easy. Look, I'm cooking up. Hit him with the Euro step into the dunk, man. It's too easy. The 3 with 3 Pro-Am, the part, two is court. Look, that's a 55 mid-range. I haven't even upgraded my mid-range yet, and I'm doing post-scoring. like Stuff like that is how I have fun, man. But that's just me personally. But look, here's how to make the full build. You guys see this is called a floor spacing slasher. Okay, so look, point guard, six foot three on the height. 225 on the way and a 6'8 wingspan. These are just the physicals, y'all. I'm telling you, this build is crazy. This build is crazy. To start it off with the 94 driving dunk. 94 driving dunk at 6'3. And pay attention, you guys. I went 94 dunk, but I also went 85 vertical. That's a big, big gem. That's part of why this build dunks so crazy because at a 6'3 height, if you have 94 dunk and you have an 85 vertical, not only do I get the elite contact packages, but I get both of the small contact packages, y'all. And I'm telling you, I have pretty much this exact same build at 6'6". I have a 94 dunk 6'6", and this 94 dunk 6'3", dunks better. It catches even more animations, okay? And then on top of that, the 59 standing dunk, it definitely makes a difference compared to that 45. So anytime I'm in the paint, y'all, the paint is sweet. 
and then for the shooter, you got to see the 92 three ball. I'm telling you, with that patty, 92 is all you need. With patty, 92 is all you need. And then for the ball handling, 95 ball handle, 90 speed with ball. So I get all the small girl dribbles. I get Kyrie Irving dribble style. I get Steve Francis. I get everything that you would want as a small guard. And I know a lot of people are going to trip about this right here, the 65 pass act. The 65 pass act is the lowest I could go while still having Steve Francis. And I'm telling you, if you play threes, if you play park, 65 is more than enough, y'all. I haven't even upgraded my pass all the way, but I'm telling you, you can still dot people. You can throw dots. I made sure to put some clips in there. I put some clips in here of the passes I was throwing, y'all, and I only have like a 40 pass right now. I haven't even upgraded it all the way. But 65 pass, y'all, I'm telling y'all, if you on a build like this, don't even pass the ball anyway. Don't worry about passing, man. Shoot the three or take the dunk or cook up and do something, you guys. But I'm telling you, with a build like this, the way I play, I'd rather not even pass it, man. I'm going to shoot it. I'm going to dunk it. You guys see he's got a little bit of defense, 58 defense. That's enough for that off-ball pass. But really, y'all, the 85 vertical is something that goes crazy. 85 vertical for those small contact dunks. I'm telling you, when you're dunking like that, you're dribbling like that, okay, whether it's behind the screen or ISO, nobody can guard this build. Nobody can stop this build, you guys. This build is the most fun build that I've made. So make sure you guys like this video, subscribe, y'all, turn on post notifications, and go down and comment what y'all want to see next, man. Other than that, hope you guys have a blessed rest of your day, and peace.